Okay, so we have our exotic fruits. We got some bananas, some passion fruit, some plums, a few more passion fruits there. Sacred cacao, the highest vibrational fruit in the world. So beautiful. These are from Ecuador. Give you a little look at how big they are. Really, really amazing. This is how you make chocolate. And then over here, we have some fresh local jackfruits. See a really amazing texture. Really kind of spiky. And these are very, very, very ripe. So I'm going to cut these open so you guys can see the inside and how it can be processed. So let me set this up. This right here will be good. Should be good, I think. Cool. All right, so we're going to do this one. Um, as you can see, you actually want your jackfruits to be really, really ripe. So this one's kind of like even nasty, like kind of gnarly. So we're going to chop a lot of that off. And uh, you're going to be able to see the inside of this. It's very heavy. This has got to be 20, 30, at least 30 pounds probably right here. Really beautiful fruit. And it's going to feed you for quite a long time. A large family, tribes of people. <laughs> Grab our knife. And this over here. I'm going to just actually chop that part off first. That's amazing. So you can see there's seeds in there. So you take those seeds out and then the whole yellow part there is actually what you eat. Let's see, uh, this nastier bottom side is still pretty good on the end. See, even though it's nasty out there, on the exterior, the inside is still really, really good. So you can actually just like take one of these. And stuff is really sticky too. So a lot of times you wanna use like olive oil or uh, vegetable oil. You just take this. Mm. This is what they use to make juicy fruit bubble gum, or just gum in general. It's just flavor is derivative. So imagine it tastes like the flavor of juicy fruit. Really, really delicious. You wanna try one? Mm hmm. Grab like just one of those pods right there. Yeah, exactly. And take the seed out. So, although, you know, it was nasty on one side, the inside is all that really counts. So I think I'm gonna process this whole jackfruit and uh, freeze it. So let's see. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Such an amazing fruit, right? <laughs> so yeah, just juicy fruit. Juicy fruit, truly. It's just these beautiful little golden mm. orange pieces. Mmm, so good. That's a very good jackfruit. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's uh, kind of just peel the skin away. I like how it comes in little pods. Mm-hmm. It's like perfect bite size little. Just pull these out. Look at this, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just take that seed out. Sexual. Yeah, it really mm. is. This is extremely high vibrational fruit as well. Mm. One of these. Like I was saying, you want to use like oil as well with this usually, uh, like an olive oil vegetable oil because it's very sticky hey you got some music going on <laughs> like this the the sap right here is really 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 sticky so a lot of times we also want to cut the center part out
this whole part will peel out. It depends on the ripeness as well. There you go. Well, not all of it came out, but. some pieces on there you would take but there's so much abundance in jackfruit that you don't even need to worry about all that yeah this is really really beautiful one tastes beautiful mm -hmm. <laughs> Super sticky. That really doesn't even come off of the water. It actually gets kind of worse. Wow. Crazy, yeah. So this is like the sap. Juicy fruit. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It actually is like a bubble gum. Yeah. Kind of crazy. And then wow. we can get a little oil. Actually, if you open uh, that cabinet, there should be some olive oil on the top right in a, in a mason jar. You'll see it when you grab it. like while I keep working with it too. Won't be so bad. So let's see, let's start grabbing some from here. What are you gonna make with this? A lot of different dishes. Um, I think we were talking earlier, you can make some like uh, tacos. You can make almost like a carnitas, like pork type of dish. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can use this to make a lot of different like desserts as well too. Uh, this one's actually like one perfect. Mm. That piece. So this actually does have voluptuous a seed in it. I'm gonna take the seed out. Wow, and that's actually what mm. you want right there. That's like a perfect flower. So there's a bit of work, but it's so worth it. Mm. Wow. So so jack, would jackfruit grow well in this property? You think? It could, yeah, it could definitely grow well here. Um, this was local, so this was um, in Coconut Grove. So they're very prevalent in Florida and most exotic environments, mm -hmm. Thailand, Indonesia, tropical. yeah, Hawaii. Very tropical fruit. Yes, that's so pretty. Such a beautiful like orange mm -hmm. yellow too. Feels like it never ends too. It's just so There's much. So much. <laughs> Do you know how long it takes for one to grow? Um, that size? This one will take quite a few months okay. um, to grow, but it also depends on the size of the tree. Um, so the, these are pretty big trees, pretty mature trees. So the, once they start fruiting though, it, it, you get an abundance, like a lot mm. grow on one tree. I've seen like 15 jackfruits on a tree before. Oh wow. Yeah. And like these things are huge. They were like 40 pounds. Yeah, they're... So if you like, you know, you're up there, up in the tree. Like I've actually harvested them, them off the tree um, with knives up there. And then once you cut it, it's like 40 pounds. You have to like balance while you're like up on the tree. <laughs> so it's a lot of hard work. And it's dangerous. And imagine if one of these falls on you, it has like these sharp, yeah. you know, almost like acupuncturesque, <laughs> like skin. So much of one. This is like just a quarter of a piece. Yeah, that's <laughs> wild. So much. Nature. I was saying earlier, man, you know, feed a whole tribe of people, mm -hmm. especially in these, uh, you know, these countries that don't have quite as much resources as we do, like here in America. Mm -hmm. This is like true abundance. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm take some from this one. That's perfect. Wow. How are you going? 
<laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. wild. There's so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If anybody some? wants jackfruit, got some. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? You're gonna make some tomorrow. Something tomorrow, a dish, some kind of dish. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna like process this and then freeze it for tonight, so it okay. doesn't. Uh, doesn't like mature anymore because I think it's already so perfect mm -hmm. and then it can let it thaw out um, a little bit but I still have a couple more jackfruits that are ready so I could probably just freeze this one and then make something you know maybe fresh mm. with those because it just constantly with fresh fruits and just farm life you just need to constantly be processing food yeah sure constantly constantly so what's we're really good for this would be to dehydrate this this would be amazing mm. like man dehydrated mango if you've had that before yeah, yeah, yeah. dried mango Dried jackfruit is one of the best, mm. best, best, best in the world. It's amazing. Yeah, Mexico's big on dried mango mm -hmm. with chili on it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's delicious. Here too. Never had dried jackfruit though. It's mm. mango season, so mm. we're about to have endless abundance of mangoes here. There's a similarity, I think, between jackfruit and mango. They're like sister, sure. brother, sister. That's type beautiful thing. citrus flavor. Mm. You like to cook, huh? Yeah, I love cooking. Definitely a passion. It's an art. Self love. Some of these fleshier parts, so there's like a little green there over this white part. You really want more just this kind of orangey meat. This is still good too, but it gets a little like, like thick and rough. This is the fruits themselves are just so sweet and succulent. God's work right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just honored to just experience this and just it feels good, man. You know, it just feels so good to like get in here and <laughs> <laughs> saying early it's like sexual you know it's like yeah, sensual very, yeah. is really what it is you know it's really just invigorating i mean this is all from just mother earth the fruits of mother mother gifts yeah. so wild what nature makes like they're all all the fruits are so different Shh, look, all this protective skin and layers and Do you think it's still sprouted if the seed is broken like this? Uh, no, that won't sprout because unfortunately it's kind of been um, split. So it's going to be a little harder, but there's plenty it's of seeds. so in, sappy. In, uh, yeah, the white center. Actually, that's how you know when a jackfruit's ripe. Mm, wow. Uh, when it's hanging in the tree, you'll, you'll pinch right here. You're going to put your nail into it and cut it a little. And this is while it's on the tree connected growing. It'll white leak will come, yeah. white milk, exactly. And when it runs heavily, that's when you know it's ripe. And is also, that milk used for anything? Also, it'll be soft. Mm. As you can see, this one's like kind of soft still. That, like you, like I was saying earlier, you want them to kind of get a little rotten. Mm -hmm. Same thing with like papayas too. You want them to get kind of like stinky papayas, what I always call them, joking around, like stinky papaya. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you want a stinky jackfruit too. Okay, you know? <laughs> that's when you know it's good. Yeah, even with the mango, right? When mangoes get kind of soft, and that's when you're like, okay, but you don't want it to get too much, because then you're like, you know, a little on the rotten side. Right, right, right. Wow, I've never taken them out of the fruit. Like this is just such a beautiful little shape. This is how you do it. This is when you gain respect for the farmers mm. and the plant itself. That seed's going everywhere. Our jackfruit's growing right here. <laughs> so beautiful. They're like little flower pods to me. It's like a mango banana flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how dope is that at any given point you can just decide to just be like... Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. There's so much. I you still haven't even gone halfway through it. I'm barely wow. touching it. I honestly could have cut it a little bit better, but this one just needed to be processed. You did great, man. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> it looks wonderful. Yeah, this is something you need like a big knife with, too. Mm. I definitely make like just tools for jackfruits and particular fruits. Yeah, I'm sure in Thailand they have it mastered. 
masters, those guys. Same thing like Jamaica with the coconuts. Mm. Those guys climb those coconut trees in seconds. Mm. Like, oh, you want this one? <laughs> this coconut? <laughs> like, yeah, don't fall. <laughs> I have a friend, Eddie in Hawaii, who also does that. Mm. Just gonna, he's not Jamaican, but he can climb, climb a coconut tree. Like, Where is he from originally? Hawaii. Oh, he's from Hawaii. Beautiful. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. True local. Yeah, being born and raised here, uh, I have a lot of pride for the city and like in upholding this truth mm. of knowledge. And the fact that this is locally grown is like, I feel like this is me, but mm-hmm. in the fruit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's so much love, so mm-hmm. much pride for this land. Yeah, I forgot, like, because I'd never been here, how tropical Miami is. It feels like you're really, like, you see igu- iguanas just, like, walking around, like, where am I? <laughs> so true. Yeah, we saw one the other day over here. Yeah, yeah. The other morning. You just don't think of Miami as so tropical, but it, it really is. Especially at the, the, the scooter ride down to Coconut Grove today. Mm. Wow, the trees were just singing to me. I had a, an Uber driver take an Uber down, and he was from Jamaica. Mm. Talking about coconuts the entire way. <laughs> So awesome, and then he's like, "Yeah, man, we used to, you know, go down to the beach, Montego Bay, and there was a coconut grove mm. where we would go." And I'm mm. like, "Does he know that he's taking me to coconut grove?" Mm. Like literally to the farmers market. Mm. You know? mm. And then eventually he did notice that he's like, "Oh, that's awesome, man!" You know? like, yeah, that's what I was thinking when you were telling the story. Like, <laughs> how surreal, like oh, divine science. You yeah, know? yeah. And like you being able to meet Lemoy and have yeah. those downloads, like, oh, there's it's all meant to be. For sure, it's, it's all connected. Yeah, Lemoy's, Lemoy's a trip. She's a beautiful being, mm-hmm. queen, mother. Mm-hmm. Consider her the mother of the farmer's market. Mm-hmm. But of course, Tracy really is because she established it and um, you know, founded it and mm, you know, just did all that hard work for us to be able to, to set up and be there. You know, for me to be able to have access to these amazing fruits and knowledge and you know, paying homage to those before us, mm-hmm. truly doing the work mm-hmm. you know, I don't necessarily have to like study them or their paths or meet them in order to know what a jackfruit is to know how to do this I need to just kind of get in here and do it mm. it's really like experience is, is the true mm. you know, putting yourself in these difficult situations of experience is the true I like that mm-hmm. it's the truth Satnam Satnam mm-hmm. Some people just happen to be part of those experiences, but I do think it's easy to attach to the human form. So easy. Mm. Stay in the mind. Experiences are the guru. Mm. Yes. The more that we can experience, the better. Because mm. we only have so much time here. Mm-hmm. So take advantage. Mm-hmm. Um, get involved. Do things. You know, that's why there was a part of me that really wanted to go tonight to that gathering, that event, but then. How many events and gatherings can I go to? Yeah, this uh, also this is uh, such an experience right here. <laughs> this is more than enough for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and I knew that this is essentially uh, as I was getting these jackfruits uh, earlier this evening, that I knew that this is going to be the work that I cut out for me. Mm-hmm. And maybe other people that may not be as conscious or aware of the type of work of these things. Oh, like, oh, you're just going to bring jackfruits home? Cool. It's like, no, no, no. I have to process these. It's yeah, gonna yeah. Take like an hour. It's going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, a responsibility. This is my preparation children. for tomorrow now. Yeah. You know. And there's levels of like doing the deep work whenever you can, of course, and going to events and gatherings like this, but also knowing when to like sit with yourself and mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. learn. And like, I think what you just said was so important. Um, I do this for my children. Mm. All of this is it's like, you know, I, I want to cry because it's so true and so deep and I'm, I'm so passionate about it. I get to teach them. Like, that's why I want to teach people and I want to help people so much and, because we're all one, we're all representation. So. It's teaching me how to be a father. Mm, that's beautiful. And that's, I think, the most beautiful gift that we're blessed with here. Mm. As men, I can only speak as a man right now in this life, and to be a father, to be able to teach. Maybe I'll be blessed with a daughter. Maybe you have to learn how she operates and be humbled constantly. That would be a beautiful and thing. And also to be blessed with a son would be amazing mm. too. Either or, mm-hmm. still a blessing. Mm-hmm. You know, to have like a mini you in, in whatever form, in, mm-hmm. in their own being to respect their process and well, like a more evolved you being able to teach them at a young age like how to eat well mm. how many of us have really been taught that we come from good families but we may not have known about all the health and wellness that's out there in the mm. universe you know? so we have to experience it like hence why we're the experience is the guru 
you know, experiences so the glory. I try to just live as versatile as I can and explore depths and too mad. meet at different people and mm -hmm. go to different places and get your hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love. For real. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm making some progress here, but still, it's like... Yeah. It's <laughs> wild how much there still is. Unbelievable. So you wanted to get through this one first because it was going, it was like a little soft. It was on the way out, yeah. Time to freeze Definitely it. like the bottom side here was, yeah. um, which is still, you know, very good still to even. Yeah, this side doesn't feel too bad. That's perfect. I'll eat that right like there. I was eating a bunch of it and it tasted mm -hmm. delicious. This side is a little funky. But... Was it? Yeah. Well, I did, it's I did not bad pizza. though. It's not like funky to the point where it's like roast. No, it's not. Like it's tomorrow not might, like, might have been, but like. Yeah, yeah. that's not lasting another day. That bottom piece, but so the end of that was a little funky. So like towards the center, it's really, really good. And you can even feel the softness of some of it. Yeah. But yeah, you don't know how easy they pull, but it depends if you're gonna cook with that. That's perfect. Because you're not gonna taste like the the funkiness of it once it's cooked. Right. Because when you're eating something like raw like this, it's just a blessing. I can't believe how good this is. <laughs> Does it even make sense? It's candy. It's like thick, but it's candy. Mm. It's like meat. Blessings. Indeed. All right, I'll uh, actually, if you want to grab the camera, because my hands are kind of nasty. Mm, my hands are a little nasty, but <laughs> I'll grab it. Just grab like the the tripod. Okay, okay, okay. And just zoom in a little bit over here, just to see like. You gotta try this jazz fruit. Um, yeah. Con. Check it out, so you can see like all this. And this is all edible as well too. It's just a little bit more tough, but you're really looking for, like I was seeing these flower pods here, so you can see there's quite a few left here, but you can see yeah. this is pretty much a the process. The Processed jackfruit here. Yeah, like just a couple to take out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Still I'll, a lot of pods left. I'll do the rest of this work off camera, but I'm glad I can show you guys all of this. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for caring about your, your body and your wellness and in your life and thank you for supporting me on my journey and Sadna. Bless you. Sadnam. Mm -hmm.